And your name is? I am Joe Lauterbaugh, or occasionally called Joey, but okay. call me Joe. Joey, what is the, uh, do you guys have a name of your, your uh, program or game? Uh, our game is called Moreland. Okay. Uh, the reason behind it was because we were searching for uh, different aspects of the game to highlight in the title, and we thought that the ability to have more free land uh, operated and such and worked. What did what'd you draw your inspiration from in terms of the creative aspect of this particular game? Um, mostly we came from like games similar to World of Warcraft in their economy, and then we also wanted to mix it in with how um, Sims City and Sims is. So we kind of wanted an MMO feel to a Sim game, yet mm -hmm. having a good economic background to it and government background to it as well. Fantastic. Yeah, well, I would suggest you do that too. Yeah. I'm Basically, if, um, we have the Twitter up, and we just follow the academy on the Twitter, and then we have a few others that we follow, like a gaming uh, network that talks about like magazines and like future devs and stuff like that. And then we have a bunch of other tech type of uh, people up. And then we have our blog spot that we just made as well. It's a starting map for uh, our game that we're creating. Okay, and what's the name of your game? Uh, Moreland. Moreland. And what software are you using? UDK. This is UDK, cool. How long did it take you to learn this? Uh, not that long, after watching a couple videos, and I learned the rest myself. Very nice. Did you have to convert the PNG file type? I just I just imported them into here, then I made them into materials. Okay. And that's what I actually used to make. Did you like combine a few? kind of skills did your team have to have in order to do this project? Um, uh, they have to have some skills in uh, UDK to make the areas and with that I believe they could um, code it from there to actually do the uh, NPC mechanics and such and they also need to have the uh, actual like quest lines to code it so they know how to code and what to code. What has been your favorite part of working on this this uh, project, this Imagine Cup project? What's been your favorite part? Um, learning how to make the game and why some games take so long to come out, and also probably the um, some of the sites I use for like ideas and some of the things that you can find that maybe um, you don't necessarily steal other people's ideas, but you get inspiration from them, like for quest lines or like names for villages other things like that. Well, and time consuming, uh, frustrating at times as well, but I hope to have as many players join as possible, that way we can have a good community base. That is uh, the content browser, where you get everything you need to actually create the maps, like textures or AI ads. Yeah, I grabbed some images right here. Here it is. There's some textures I'm using to make all of this. And those textures you got off the internet? Yeah, he had to find a certain file. Okay. Marshall, what aspect of the game have you been primarily working on? working on the, uh, the appearance of it, like how it looks. I'm working right now on a, t um, a town called uh, Falden. It's a mountainous area, and there's a bunch of houses. Um, yeah, the town's in a valley, surrounded by a forest. Okay. And I'm building this. 